What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Trey. On today's episode, we're gonna show you how we installed our Starlink internet service system, what comes with the packaging, where we place everything inside of our van, a couple of pros and cons, and why we chose Starlink itself. So first things first, a quick definition of what Starlink is. Starlink is the world's first and largest satellite constellation using a low earth orbit to deliver broadband internet capable of supporting streaming, online gaming, video calls, and everything in between, which is pretty cool. If you guys want more info, you just go to starlink.com. I'm not going to read too deep into the sciences and stuff like that. We're going to show you why we chose Starlink and a couple of things that we like and a couple of things that we dislike. So starting with the shipping with Starlink, we ordered Starlink early January. It is now January 22nd. Waited about two or three weeks and it was shipped directly to us here in Middle Tennessee. So no problems with shipping at all. Very seamless, very easy. So there are two options that Starlink provides right now for RV use. I'm gonna pop this little comparison chart up here. First being standard versus in motion and the price point. The price point is about $600 for the hardware and it is $135 a month for the services. Now the in motion, it is $2,500 for the hardware and the same price point for the services is $135. The satellite or the receiver for the standard, that's a fixed self-orienting receiver that pings and finds satellites in orbit. The in motion receiver, it can be portable. You'll see the options that we chose. Um, hopefully this holds up and we won't have to permanently mount it into the roof of the van, but it's pretty cool that we can actually make it portable. You'll see what that looks like here in just a little bit. The standard dish size is 20.2 inches by 11.9 inches. The in motion dish is a little bit larger or the receiver is a little bit larger. It's 20.7 inches uh, by 20.1 inches. Now there's a couple of downsides to Starlink so far that we've noticed. The power draw. The power draw is around 50 to 75 watts for the standard version. It pulls around 150 to 200 watts for the in motion version. So you're limited on power use. We have four 100 amp hour batteries and we have 400 watts of solar up on the roof. So charging our batteries is not that difficult. We do have an option to use an alternator as well or plug in to shore power, but you're going to be limited to your Wi-Fi use depending on your storage capacity. So for 100 amp hours is not so bad, uh, but we're not going to plan to run Wi-Fi overnight. So that shouldn't be an issue there. But that's the difference in power draw right here as a live view of the power draw coming from the battery with just the in motion satellite on. That's your power draw right now. Another downside of Starlink, there is no customer service. You can't contact anyone. I believe you can submit a ticket or if you have a service $135 a month with them if you pay that. I believe you can submit tickets. Not sure how long that takes to receive some responses, but the customer service I'm sure will eventually pick up once this becomes more popular. So why do we choose Starlink? And that's simply because we're going to be working full-time from the road. Addy's got a full-time gig working remotely. I am soon to transition into another job working remotely as well. We want to upload more videos as we travel and having a source of internet on the road just from the top of our van is pretty nice. So instead of having to upload videos, travel into town when we necessarily don't need to do that um, to upload stuff, that would be pretty nice just to be able to stay out in remote places longer and not have to travel into cities and upload videos. All in all, I think everything, price point, services, internet speeds, I think it all um, is worth it so far. So we'll see. So that kind of covers the pros and cons so far of Starlink. We've only had this for a couple of days. I've used it a couple of times just to test it out. But once we start working in the van full time, we'll probably have some more feedback for you guys. So just stay tuned uh, for that. Without further ado, let's roll the rest of the footage. We're going to do some unboxing. We're going to show you how we installed it. That's enough rambling for now. Let's go. You can put it up here. your satellite she is hefty oh there's like an app mm -hmm. to tell you about the angles and all that yeah oh. wow don't know what any of that means what you got no clue you don't know what you got not at all what's in your hand satellite okay so the satellite we got the definitely the modem but what is this guy mm -hmm. okay all right we'll come back to it tomorrow ahead eddie Alrighty. Last night we wanted to open the box and see what was inside. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. Shouldn't be too long. It's kind of a plug and play situation. So starting with the satellite. There she is in all of her glory. I think it's about gross weight on this thing is about 20. Uh, I feel like I'll have to look that up for you guys. 
Um, so this is the mounting plate arrived a couple days before the satellite and the uh, other hardware. So the way we're going to mount this is with four 100 pound magnets. Purchased these off of Amazon. I stuck this thing to the hood of the van and it held on pretty nicely so hopefully that won't give, give us any trouble. Some of the mounting hardware that it came with, if you wanted to drill into the roof, I believe they have all of that stuff in here. Comes with its own SpaceX silicone there, some special <laughs> shit, I'm sure. Over here in the box we have a couple of instruction manuals and uh, oh yeah. Also with the mounting plate, uh, this hardware comes with a uh, marine grade grommet to run your wires through. Let's see if I can focus in on that. Now these things are what I use up on the roof. I have two of these up on the roof. I have one for the solar, one for the front uh, light bar as well as some other cables. So I really like this product here. Uh, I don't need it. I would have liked to use this if I got Starlink earlier, but that's okay. These are awesome by the way. So that comes in the kit. And now going back to what else is in the box, we have a couple of instruction manuals here. Over here, we have our router. And this is that heavy duty power supply right here with all the cables running out of it. Here's our ethernet cable. Um, here's a couple of screws that was supposed to be with that hardware over there. And then a couple of other cables, of course, that run from the uh, router and the power supply into the satellite, etc. So today um, we are going to try to attempt to install this thing. Here's a big instruction manual. It's upside down. Showing you how everything installs. Seems pretty, pretty straightforward. We're going to go ahead and take a stab at installing this today. The first thing I'm going to do is put the bracket on the satellite. And I want to test it out up on the roof, so I'll take you guys up there with me. And then we'll come back and look at um, how we're going to install this box. So, hopefully this goes smooth. We'll see. Here are your different bolts. Now, this one looks a little different than the other ones. It's got this raised little collar there. That's where this part of the bracket will slot into. So, it'll slide onto that collar. And then these two over here will go at the very top up here. The whole kit comes with thread locker. So, I'm putting a little bit of that onto the thread here. Thread that in with our hands as tight as we can. Uh, so the way I have these two bolts on, um, I'm not putting these two on yet because what you're going to do is take your bracket, align it up, and then we're going to slide it. Hand tighten that in. Let's get the other one. Hand tighten that one in. Oh, need a larger one. Okay, I never found an Allen wrench or an Allen key. But Addy had a little bit that might fit in there, and here it goes. Okay, all right. Ugh. Well, this thing's not light by any means. So there we have it. We have the mounting bracket on the bottom with our four magnets. Let's go put it on the roof, and hopefully it fits. Ooh. Um... Yeah, okay, it's not gonna fit back there. Maybe over there somewhere. Um, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so my plan to run the router and the uh, power supply, the power supply is gonna live up here. And I think the router is gonna go just behind this wall, uh, behind the monitor here. And the power supply cables are gonna go um, right into here. I'm gonna drill one inch hole right here so the power cables can come through. And yeah, the power supply will just live up there, just kind of out of the way. We keep our window covers up there. And then the uh, Starlink router will sit right behind the TV. So that's the plan. We're gonna drill a one inch hole in there and then run our cables. Okay, now we're gonna run our cable through into here and then we'll plug it in that way. So this is where we'll install. Okay. That there's Mr. Sampson, the coolest UPS 
uh, deliverer that ever walked the planet. Nicest gentleman in the world. Shout out to you, Samson. What's up, baby? Our beautiful Starlink mount is in place for the router. Uh, let's pop it in and see what it looks like. Cables. Set the uh, corners in and then press it. There we go. There you have it. There's the mount and the modem in place. Okay, and you guys will love this instead of screwing this down, which I can't get a good angle to screw this down. It's going to sit on top up here. Uh, just use the this side of the Velcro here just so it doesn't move around up there. So that should keep it nice and secure. I'm going to slide this into place. Put it in. Bam. And then we'll go ahead and set it out of the way. It's really nice. It's not going to go anywhere. So here's what it looks like so far. Now I ran the router cable and the power cable up to here and I gotta do a little bit more cable management and then we should be golden. I'll run the satellite link cable after that. Okay guys, uh, the installation is pretty much complete. I'm a little nervous, actually, I'm a lot nervous about how I'm running the satellite cable because right now, it's just running inside here. And the way that this, this door closes, this arm, you know, kind of everything pinches in there. And I know these, uh, these cables are sensitive and if I damage one, I don't know how easily replaceable it is. So, uh, don't know right now. But I wanna go ahead and test out everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the Starlink app. All right, so let's find the Starlink app. Starlink, uh, get Starlink. Uh, Starlink is downloaded. This is the first thing that pops up. But first, I want to go ahead and turn my inverter on so we have power to the satellite. So here's my Victron disconnect or connect app, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, here's my inverter. I'm gonna switch on, on. There we go. Stove turns on too. Let's go back over here now we should i see a light on the power supply let's go ahead and figure everything out select your starlink we are here confirm find location check for obstructions i have a location let's uh check for obstructions starlight does the camera confirm i'm ready find an open area i'm ready point your camera up up like that Oh, I had it right. Oh, this is really crazy. View results. Estimated obstructions. We should be clear. That was really cool. Um, okay, here we go. Processing. Almost there. You may want to find a better spot. You may estimated obstructions. I don't know. Maybe I have to do it again. Obstructions. I'm gonna redo this. <laughs> I think the buildings, I think the buildings might have me. Um, let's try a new location. Okay, we're just gonna move down the road a little bit then. Okay, we're gonna try it over here in the parking lot. Check for obstructions. Let's do this again. Okay, there's absolutely no obstructions. I guarantee this is gonna work. All right, yep, this is a great place for Starlink. Here's what it looks like when we have a great uh, connection. This is a great place for Starlink. Um, set up Starlink here, okay? Start setup. I have a location. Plug in your Starlink, plug in your power cables. The light on the bottom of your router will illuminate, and it is. Let's uh, see if we can find a network now. I keep seeing Stinky. I saw Stinky over at the other location, and it's full on. Oh, is that the Starlink? I do not know. Okay, let's try uh, Stinky. Okay, well, Stinky is Starlink. <laughs> okay. Uh, Starlink create network name. Stay human, and I'll enter a password off the camera. All right, now we're going to join, and uh, we are on some Wi-Fi now. How cool is that? How cool is that? Okay, so we're connected. You know, maybe I can stream some YouTube or something like that. Let's see how, there's Mathers. 
Today I'm going to share with you how it's much instant. money our van life travel YouTube channel makes with only 31,000 subscribers. Look, shout out to you Mathers. He helped me with my van build as well. All his videos. Alright, we're going to do a speed test now. Let's open up our speed test. SpaceX Starlink. I don't, I guess it kind of recognizes where we're at right now. So let's hit go. So, wow. 160-ish, 170. There we go. Look at our upload speed, six megs, 180 download. I think that's the highest I've seen it so far. And about seven megs, 6.8 upload. That's not too bad. Uh, so there you have it, guys. Simple install for the most part. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about this cable. I shut it in just a second ago, but over a course of like in and out of the van 15 times a day, I'm not sure how that's gonna hold up. But overall, that was a really simple install. It is plug and play. I like the router setup. I imagine later down the road, five years from now, this stuff is gonna be a little bit more sleek, faster, and yeah, probably a smaller satellite. Who knows how that's gonna go. But for now, this is the top of the line internet solution for working on the road, working remotely. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna give it some time. We're gonna run some more tests on it, and we'll see how it works on the road. We are heading out full time on the road in two weeks. Now, this video is gonna come out a lot before you see all of this stuff being installed. That's just because that's just because I wanted to get the Starlink video out there in case anybody else is wondering how this stuff works on the road. So I'm gonna give a road test here and hopefully the satellite stays on top of the van. Uh, hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. Thanks for bearing with me guys. This is my first time using anything with Starlink. If you got questions, drop them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer those for you. Meanwhile, check this video out. This is from our previous van build episodes. We'll see y'all in the next one.